Android versus iOS. Which is the best if you're a software developer? I'm John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com and today I'm going to be answering that question. So I got this email from a watcher of the channel from Junaid, I think. I think that's how it said, Junaid. And he, he says, hi John, thanks so much for your awesome videos. I was watching this video on software developer career paths. Uh, do you have any advice on which platform to choose between Android and iOS? and why if one is entering the mobile field specifically. Uh, my aim is to be a specialist mobile iOS slash Android freelancer. I've decided to focus on Swift and the iOS SDK, but after having spoken with a good friend of mine, he is convinced Android is the future. I would just like your thoughts on which platform you choose and why taking into account that choosing one platform at the expense of the other requires a lot of focus if one is to become a specialist on that platform. So, this is a good question, right? <laughs> and this is, a, this is something that is gonna change. So, Android versus iOS, which one do you do? There's a huge investment in either platform, right? I mean, Android and iOS are pretty different as far as developing. I've developed Android apps, I've developed iOS apps natively with other tools, with Xamarin, with all kinds of things. And I, I definitely know there's a difference, right? So, and you know, most of us know <laughs> there's a big difference, especially as a developer. So what do you choose, right? If you can only choose one. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on your future. Uh, my honest view at this point, because we don't know the future and because there are platforms out there that sort of abstract things out, I would choose both, <laughs> to be honest with you, like to be able to develop on both. Maybe you choose one that's your expertise or your, your specialty, but there's a lot of ways to do that. It, today, like the, what I think is the best way to develop on both is to use Xamarin, uh, specifically Xamarin Forms. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna be speaking at the Xamarin Evolve conference. I'm not, I'm not getting paid to plug Xamarin, I just happen to like Xamarin. Uh, but you can check that out. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link here for that Xamarin Evolve conference if, you, if you're interested. Uh, I think Steve Wozniak is actually going to be speaking there, so that'll be cool. I'll get to meet Steve Wozniak. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about like five soft skills for software developers at that conference. So back to the back to the question here. So Android versus iOS. Uh, okay. So I would prefer, like I said, that you you can do both. With Xamarin Forms, you can abstract away a lot of the differences between the two platforms, which is really good. It, you know, it, you're never going to have the same experience or be able to build as customized of an app if you're using some kind of abstraction, right? But for a lot of business development cases, uh, and even a lot of consumer cases, you can probably get away with an abstraction and build the app to be multi-platform and specialize on each platform where you need to. But, but if you don't want to do that, then which which I totally understand, or you do want to specialize in one, you know, I'm always talking about specializing, which you pick. So if I were looking to make money today, like what is the most profitable investment today in the near future, it's going to be iOS, right? Because more developers, more more consumers pay money for Apple products, right? It, it's a premium product. People are are not looking for free from Apple. They're 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 used to paying, and and you probably make more money. When I look at my own app sales, the the iOS side definitely sells more, right? And it's and it's a unified platform. You don't have to worry. Now Apple's introducing multiple devices and screen sizes, but they've done a good job of making it so you don't really have to worry about which device you're running on so much. You know, uh, it, it's it's a more difficult platform to learn, to be honest. You know, I haven't developed in Swift yet, but when I was doing Objective-C, it was way more difficult. And there's a lot more uh, things that, if you come from a PC world, don't make quite as much sense. It's like a, it's like a parallel universe. But having that specialty is, is definitely good. Now, that's for the short term. For the long term, I kind of agree with your friend here. I think that Android is gonna win out in the long term just because it's open and because Apple tends to be a little bit trendy. And I see that trend going down. I predicted this maybe like a couple months ago that Apple was gonna start going down and, and they have. Now, they, Apple is known for the comeback, right? They, they may come back, I may be totally wrong, but 
As far as the future, I, I see Google kind of winning the battle between Apple and Google uh, just because Google is is more open. Google has, I think, bigger resource. I think search is going to just get bigger and bigger and, and the advertising through search and Apple doesn't have a piece of that. So I think that that's going to be going to be one of the deciding factors. Uh, Android is also, in my opinion, it's a better design like the, the, from an architectural perspective as a developer. It's more interesting to me. I feel like it's better, much more, much more well, <laughs> much better designed as a platform, and it makes more sense to me. Again, maybe it's because it's Java, and and I prefer Java and C sharp as a language, and so maybe that's why. But anyway, I, I feel like the design, the, the way that they've they've set it up, is is a little bit better. So. It really depends, you know, if, if you can, I would say try to be able to at least know both and maybe specialize in one. And if you can do a multi-platform tool like Xamarin, I think that's, that's what I would be doing today if I were an app developer today. Bar none, I'd be specializing in Xamarin. There's a lot of money in that. Microsoft is investing in that as well. But if I had to choose, ultimately, if I could only choose one and I was looking for the future, I would choose Android. Uh, but if I was looking to make money now and, and take advantage of opportunities I have now in the market, I would do iOS. I, I feel like if you neglect the iOS side, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be able to make the revenue that, that you should from, it, from an app. And, and consumers, especially if you're doing consumer-facing app, I mean, consumers are going to expect that you're going to have an iOS version. If you just have an Android version, that, that's going to be tough. So, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough today, really. You, you, if you're building an app, it really should be on Android and iOS. If you're just thinking about like where, where the money is, where the, the future is, I, I think Android, I think there's going to be more, more utility for that. Uh, and, and if you're just looking for the short term right now, I want to start developing apps and making money in the app store, you know, Apple, iOS is going to be the way to go. So hopefully that answers your question. It is a complicated question. Now, I don't know. I don't have. I wish I had the crystal ball so I could know what the exact answer is. But we'll see. You know, you got to just pick one. Don't. The biggest thing I would say is just stop worrying about the decision so much. If you choose one and go down the path, you're going to be a lot more successful than people that never do anything. That just they have to get the perfect decision. No one knows. No one has a crystal ball. So you got to just take action and do something. All right. If you have a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And if you like this channel, if you want to get more videos on programming topics, on life, on everything else, uh, subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.